genetic technology has transformed agriculture. And if Mexico is going to challenge established science, farmers like this one say it's time to hold their feet to the fire. While his boys play in the mud, Michael Bergen recently cleaned up for a trip to D.C., where Nebraska farmers say they heard promises from Mexico that a ban on GMO corn would be eased. But Bergen says that's not what happened. They really doubled down on, on their position and um, was pretty disappointing to hear that. Mexico now says it'll allow yellow corn for livestock feed, but not white corn for tortillas. That is not a trade-off we're willing to make. We will not sacrifice white corn at the altar of being able to continue to sell, I don't know, animal feed. And when the, the rest of the world sees Mexico get away with something like this, you better believe that other countries are going to try to do similar. Congressman Adrian Smith is concerned at the precedent this could set. As he says, it's now a time to enforce the U.S.-Mexico-Canada agreement. Saying we need to take action here. Uh, it is such a flagrant violation of the USMCA. One of the architects of that train deal says it has a brand new enforcement mechanism. It's designed to work at the speed of commerce, work in a matter of weeks, not in a matter of years like we've always had in the past. The point to be made, though, is that is the last resort. You don't want to have to go down that road. You'd much rather work this out diplomatically. Corn growers like Andy Jobman say talks should continue, but he'd like to see the Biden administration initiate a dispute. We have this uncertainty of what's going to happen to this market. What kind of signal does that send to our other uh, markets around the world? Um, you know, we need to remain strong on this issue. Jobman says Mexico's president needs to consider the consequences. To suddenly put a, a halt on that trade would increase uh, food prices and food inflation in the country of Mexico. It is in Mexico's best interest to see their way through and resolve this issue. And from farmer Michael Bergen's view, the consequences are great if Mexico doesn't follow the science on GMOs. We really feel at this point um, we need to hold their feet to the fire. It goes beyond GMO corn to Mexico's position on the herbicide glyphosate. The Nebraska Corn Board and Nebraska Corn Growers Association releasing a joint statement calling for an immediate response from the U.S. Corn Board Chairman Judy Reiner says, quote, we trust the science and so should Mexico. We refuse to sacrifice the science or the growing of white corn used for human consumption for yellow corn and livestock feed. Mexico cannot feed their people alone. They need U.S. farmers, end quote. Even when the world stops, the sun, the weather, and the earth keep going. MTV's Grow promises to bring you all the news and trends surrounding agriculture in Nebraska.